What's up guys, cell phones here. Sorry, I just turned the music down a little bit. So I got some really sweet stuff for you tonight. Not that they're ever not sweet, but especially sweet tonight. And uh, first I'm going to kick it off right away just with, uh, as you've seen this done before, uh, I was actually asked to do it exactly the same as all the other ones, but I figured, you know what, uh, I know the dude, so I'll do something extra, something different. We've seen one too many of these. Uh, the Benj made uh, Pocket Rocket with Carbon Fiber Reptilian. Just seems to be very popular uh, on both sides. And it's got orange liners, looking real nice. But with this one, Put the tiger stripe, black and orange uh, backspacer. So it kind of ties together the blacks and the oranges. The crazy layered look. Thought that turned out pretty sweet. I also have one of these I'm doing in uh, same thing but with toxic green, and I'm thinking about doing the same thing with the toxic green layers. Because you know it's like, you know, the whole theme going on here is black and orange. And then, uh, yep. And if this seems off, it is. I actually put the liner on, and it's pushing on there a little bit, so I just gotta take that off and shave the lightest little layer off of uh, the tip of this thing, and then I'll be perfectly fine. But I gotta make this one short today, guys. I'm in a hurry. But it's nice and centered. Blacked out blade. Looks nice as usual. The only addition that's different from the other ones is this backspacer. <clears throat> needs to be cleaned up a little bit. I just finished it, so carbon fiber on the uh, orange. That happens a lot because uh, carbon fiber is very messy. That's that guy. Re sandblasted everything. You know, just to make it look nice and new. And next up, um, a knife that basically got me into pimping pretty much. Sorry, I just want to turn the music down real quick. When I first saw these guys, these scales in person, I was like blown away. Thought it was like the coolest thing ever. And like, you know, right away just tried to mimic this look. So everybody knows that PPT is my favorite, one of my favorite spider codes. PPT, Sage 2, Paramilitary, and Manix. Pretty much think they're like the four best production knives ever made. Yeah, go ahead and get pissed at that, but you know what? They are. They're great knives. So, so I got a project with this one that was pretty crazy. And it's something I've done one time, but not to this extreme. Um, especially on this knife, I was pretty damn excited to do it. It took me a long time to do. I mean, there was a lot of gluing, you know, epoxying, I mean, and uh, you know, very precise cuts, and then some problem solving because of certain, certain elements of the knife just wouldn't do what they're supposed to. I mean, you can see, here's the backspacer, and here's the one liner on the one side. There's a reason I took this guy out, um, and I'll tell you about it in a sec when I show the knife. But uh, a lot of people say, hey, can you, you know, is there a way to take out, you know, the backspacer on a, on a PPT because it basically makes the knife extremely heavy. So my only problem was this pocket clip thing, you know, just doing a G10 pocket clip and cutting that little screw there probably wouldn't work. So I gave it a shot, but this one's absolutely crazy looking so a PPT Perrin beautiful modified sheep's foot defensive looking blade which I love so much and then you got carbon fiber not a big surprise not that crazy then jade goose green with an angled bolster and I'm surprised how good this turned out too. I mean, it's, I did a Yuna a while back and it didn't turn out nearly as good as this. I guess the more I do this, the more I get used to working with this, these materials and 
you know, getting better tools and it's just more precise. So I guess uh, if I had a chance to redo that unit, it'd probably be a lot better. But you can see the original PPT pattern on there. Uh, some nice thick black liners, uh, G10. I had to do the real thick stuff. It makes it a lot easier to do bolsters and stuff like that, so. And you got the Jade backspacer that's popping out. It's nicely beveled, so it's not sharp on the fingers, but it does grab. And same with the other side. And as you can see, I took a chance, and it's it's on there. I mean, you get this this slight movement, you know, it's just because it's long and just holding at one point, but that's the same as how it usually is, so uh, it's nice and centered. Although it does not look centered, I say this a lot, guys, if you take from the titanium there and the black there, you can see that it's, it's actually centered. Maybe the slice bit to the left, but you know, I was tweaking with the, uh, I was tweaking out the um, screws back and forth just now, so I might have just put one off a little bit. So, as you can see, it took the the liner out on one side. This knife weighs a hell of a lot less. It weighs, it feels like a paramilitary like weight now. About uh, actually tighten the shit out of that pivot. It's a little bit too much. There we go. Yeah, it was like holding now, it's nice and back to its original awesomeness. But uh, yeah, this weighs a hell of a lot less and uh, it feels really nice. I mean, it's a bit thicker, but by such a small amount, it's hard to even tell. My problem was these two scales were so damn thick that uh, uh, with the liner on the side that I just had to think of a way to take it out. So basically, if you put this guy in, you'll see underneath here, there's these stainless little tiny washer, washers. Just give it the slightest bit of push to make it a slight bit uh, more space between the standoffs and the screw. So if you want it like this, you just, you know, keep it how it is. If you don't want it like this and you want it real thick with the, both the liners, just take those little washers out, put them in a bag, and just, you know, screw everything back in with the liner on there. And it's completely perfect. So... Either way, you know, that's the only way I could fix that and have it have it work properly, so. Besides starting over. But I mean, it, it looked fine, felt fine, thick, but I just figured, you know, I'd give this a shot because it would lighten it up and I think, you know, people could see that, you guys can see that I can light up the PPT for you. But this thing is just gorgeous. This might be one of my favorites that I've ever done because it just turned out so crazy. And you see the, the jade is actually like a dark, see that green, there's like a green in this jade, but this looks like a dark blue because of the black right behind it. Which I finally successfully did the uh, jade with a liner without getting any bubbles. And there is no space there whatsoever. It's just perfect. Nothing catches, nothing sticking out. The pattern is completely perfect all around. I'm really proud of this, guys. I'm just very... I took the job to do this, and I really didn't think I could do it, actually. You know, I was going to attempt to do it, then maybe just be like, hey, man, I, you know, I tried, and it didn't work. But, you know what, I got to a point where I didn't know what the fuck I was doing anymore, and I just figured, you know what, screw it. I'm just going to keep going. And I had an idea, and I just kept on it, and it ended up being just perfect. It looks funky, because uh, you can't really tell there's exact space between each one. It's it's just weird looking, because it's not, uh, you know, it doesn't look centered and looks totally off, but it's, you know, right now it's a little off-center. Sorry guys, that does happen sometimes. I do, uh, I am unprepared at times, but you can see, uh, one second. Did you see that go center? Yeah, so there you go. And now uh, it's not tight.
The biggest challenge for me was he wanted this this bolster above here and either way one of these was getting only one screw so I originally had it all the way down here but there was just too much and I couldn't get this nice curve here so to bring this one up and it was just very difficult but the only way I could get it done was just just to hope and I, I'm surprised it turned out the way it did I mean it just you know, it's rock solid and everything but it's very light Anyway, guys, I'm just kind of rambling. Um, thank you for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'm real proud of it. Anybody who leaves me any shitty comments, I mean, you know, criticism's fine, but if you're just being a dick to be a dick, then, um, yeah, you're a pretty sad person. But you guys got to know that, you know, I work all day on these things, and then when I get somebody who doesn't know what the fuck they're talking about, telling me something that they don't know the answer to, or, like, they just don't know what they're saying, and you know they're saying it to me. It just gets on my nerves so much. Like the fact that I didn't have the pivot screw tight. Who the fuck cares? Seriously, once I get off camera and I actually fix it, you know I'm not gonna fix it on camera, but you know I just uh, had it loose. So whatever. But you guys know what I'm saying. You see some of these comments are just ridiculous. I mean, I'm working my ass off, and they're just typing some bullshit and. You know, it, it, whatever, I don't care about the thumbs downs and all that crap. I don't even understand. They're meaningless because there's no reasoning behind them, so. And, um. But anyway, sorry about that, guys. I'm just saying. You know, I just work hard on these things and I try to put up a video every day to entertain you. And I get people that, that there's just no reason to really. You know, there's nothing bad going on here, you know what I mean? Like, there's no downside to me making a video, or there's no downside to anybody making a video. Um, you know, a knife review or anything. No matter how crappy the knife review is, unless they're bashing it, there's no reason to thumbs down people. There's no reason to say something rude. I mean, they'll try their best, you know what I mean? I mean, it's okay to correct people if they make mistakes, but, you know, just thumbs downing people because for no reason, or just saying something rude just because you want to be a know-it-all, it's just not cool. But, you know, I'm not pissed off or anything, guys. I'm actually in a pretty good mood. I just don't know why I just got off on that ramp, but it happens. I'm just very happy with this guy. It's crazy looking, just gorgeous. Wish you could see it in person. Of course, the camera never does it justice. I do have this. Yeah, it's a bussy. It's for sale if anybody wants it. It's an original. It's pretty old. Can't fit it all on camera. Anyway, guys, have a good one. Peace.